really looked at radiology as a stepping stone. I was very interested in medical school, and I thought maybe if I did the two-year program that then I could kind of work my way through medical school. After I graduated, I was engaged, and I got married, and life took me a different path. I kind of didn't go through with medical school, but with radiology, you know, I've always just kind of found my way um, regarding Working in the St. Elizabeth system, I've worked at all the sites. I started out at Fort Thomas as a student, and then at Edgewood for seven years, um, went to the Old North for four, um, and then I came back to Edgewood for about eight more, and then I've been at Florence almost five. So I've just been completely content and happy working for St. Elizabeth, so. I love the patients, and I love customer service. It's my favorite thing. The thing about it is, uh, with um, healthcare, you're dealing with a commodity uh, that's, um, not something that's materialistic. It's, it's You're dealing with emotions and feelings and people. And so, sure, I mean, I, I, on the other end of that, have the same emotion and feeling. And so, yeah, I'm disappointed if I can't recover a patient. I mean, I truly have a genuine heart regarding um, health care and, and helping people. Um, I'm a nurturer by nature. I think it comes from um, having a really good mom. I had a mom that was just, she showed me absolute unconditional love and um, I had an older brother and there was never a differentiation between, you know, um, him being a boy and me being a girl. She always allowed me to have an opinion and she never said there was anything I couldn't do because I was a girl. Like he rode a motorcycle. We started out, I was three and he was five and we would ride double. And um, so we, my dad laid us out a track at the house and um, there was a corner where there was a mud puddle and my brother would wreck in that mud puddle every time and it was just a round track and he was always throwing me in the mud. So by the time I was five, I walked in the kitchen and I said, do little girls ride their own motorcycle? And they said, uh-oh. So instead of saying, no, you know, you're a girl, they went straight away and bought me a bike and I've been riding ever since. So I know that's something that people find hard to believe. I'm very girly, I like makeup and hair and I've got this little bitty voice, but I actually, um, I have an alter ego on a motorcycle. I'm a big chicken. Outside of riding a motorcycle at 150 miles an hour down a street, I am a big chicken. I'm afraid of heights, I'm afraid of roller coasters, I'm afraid of a lot of things. You know, I'm not this daredevil person. It's just truly, really all I know. Well, my brother went undiagnosed um, with an autoimmune disease called IgA nephropathy and he was 35 years old and presented with a high blood pressure episode that was so bad that he had to go to the emergency room. Um, they ran some blood work and he was in complete acute um, renal failure. I offered to be um, a donor and they said, you know, they screen you with some questions and at that time, if you had ever had precancerous cells or cancerous cells or any kind of issue like that, then you could never be considered a donor and I had had that and so they excluded me as a potential donor at that point. And so I'm my brother's only sibling. Other people had stepped up. A few people matched on some level, but not a, a significant match. And so he went on dialysis, and he did dialysis for six years. Through that, he did the peritoneal dialysis, so he got um, peritonitis a couple times in his abdomen, and he was hospitalized. Um, he was here at Edgewood, and I was working second shift, and it was about midnight, and I went up to see him. And I stopped, and I said, what did the doctor say? And he said, I'm gonna die. And I said, no, seriously, what did the doctor say? And he said, I'm gonna die something clicked, I knew definitively at that moment, definitively, I would give him a kidney. And I called my mom, and the first thing I said is, Mom, I'm gonna give Jason a kidney. And she said, don't work yourself up, you can't make that happen, you know, they're not gonna let you. And I said, no, you don't understand. I'm going to make this happen. So I called, he has a caseworker, and I begged her just to test my blood. She really didn't see any harm in it because of the situation that he was in and it came back that I matched him identical. I actually fell to my knees in the floor and cried. I knew that um, God was very much behind that. I was able to call my brother on his birthday and tell him that I had went behind his back and found out that I had matched him identical and I was gonna be able to give him a kidney. You're always your mother's child no matter how old you get and you just want those moments where you can say, I told you so. I waited for my mom to get to my bedside and the only thought in my head was like a little bitty six-year-old girl. I could not wait to go, I told you so. I was so excited to just go, I told you so. I told you I would do it. She said, yes, you did. And she just started crying. So. And she was working one of the offices outside where we had the meetings. And I went by and the smile, her smile said it all. And from there I was hooked.